So it's been a couple days since I've been here at the coop, and I'm wondering, hey girls, what everybody's up to. Let's go check in the coop first. It is windy today. Oh. <sighs> I'm going to give them their snacks inside today. Oh look, 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 look. look. Who is that? I think that's Nelly. Oh look, we got two. What's in there? Chicken nugget. Oh no, that's pepper. So we have pepper and we have chicken nuggets sitting. Hopefully, maybe on eggs. You guys ate all your food? My goodness. Oh look! Look, 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 look. Three duck eggs. Okay, hi girls. Hey. So we have three duck eggs. Um, I would definitely say that oyster shells, they work, but they take a little while to work. Don't you jump at me, chicken nugget. She thinks she just laid an egg. Pepper's sitting on something. All right, let me see. We set this up here. Let me see. Oh, not a warm egg. All right, girls. Brought you water, and I brought you some scraps. There we go. Oh, I know. Where have I been? Well, I say it's been a couple days, but really I just wasn't here yesterday, so it's really just one day. Okay, let's go. I am not cutting this up. So we're starting with asparagus. This is really good for your chickens. I just take my kitchen shears. Cut up in a small piece. You can hear the wind chime out there. If you didn't see my other video, so I had run across this really cool wind chime. I think it was this fall. Maybe it was last summer. I don't know. One of the, it wasn't too long ago. And I bought it because I fell in love with it. And... It looks like it's vintage. It might be handmade. It kind of looks like it is. And it's beautiful. If you didn't see in the last video, I'll go out there and show you here in a little bit when I give the ducks the water in their little makeshift pond. Some banana peel. The banana peel is actually poisonous to people, but chickens love it. It's really good for them. I don't know the details about it being poisonous to people. If you had to cook it first or if raw it's poisonous. Something like that. Isn't that crazy too? That something can be really good for you. One part of something can be good for you. It's the inside of a banana. The outside is poisonous. Who wants the lettuce? I'll throw it over there for you. There you go. So Pepper is just hanging out here. I wonder if she's gone broody. I am wondering if we're gonna get a broody hen. And she's not moving. I'm wondering. We have more asparagus, we have green bean bits, we have zucchini bits, lettuce bits. There we go. They are completely out of the oyster shells too. So this was full. I've only had to fill it once and it's been, I think like two months since I filled it. But if you're dealing with ducks that are laying leathery eggs, I do think the oyster shells are working. But another thing I'm really questioning is if giving them a little pond to swim in, just an extra happiness, so like the serotonin, helped them lay eggs. I'm thinking that had something to do with it too. I'm gonna put the eggs in here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then so we have eleven eggs and then there's three duck eggs. I'm gonna see if Pepper is sitting on any. Hopefully she doesn't get angry. <laughs> we'll see. Hey Pepper. She's laying on it. Look at her. Look at her. She is like <laughs> she looks like a blob. Hey girl. Oh don't don't you get angry at me. I'm just gonna see under you. Come here. Look at her. Oh my god, you're laying on a bunch.
Get your eggs, girl. Look at her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a broody hen. Look at she's freaking out. You can keep you can keep the one. I gotta take the other ones, okay? I've never dealt with a broody hen before, so I'm a little freaked out. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't you peck at me. <sighs> you know what? I'm a little scared. Because <laughs> she's making some weird noises. I'm going to go ahead and feed the ducks and the chickens, give them their water and their oyster shells. And I'm going to come back to Pepper and see if she's still sitting on these eggs and try to mess with her then. Because when a hen goes broody, what that means is, is they are trying to hatch an egg. And she's sitting on like a bunch of eggs. Like it looks like five or six eggs, including the little marble egg I have in there. So I don't want to mess with her right now. I'm going to go ahead and give them their food and their water and their oyster shells. I'm going to end this video, but come on to the next video because this is already like six minutes long. And uh, we'll try to mess with Pepper over here, okay? <laughs> so I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is just my daily life and adventures and uh, bringing you guys along for the ride. <laughs>